I haven't really been updating the last few sessions, but this is where I'm at. Almost done. I expect to finish this in the next time that I sit down. Yay! So I don't know if you can tell yet, but I'm going back through with this just kind of over the hair parts and the dark parts to try and just like make this dog a little darker in comparison to like this dark area here. So this dark area here is almost black, especially in the shadow, and this dog is a dark gray. However, this picture I asked uh, Jen to like up the brightness because it was very much in shadow so that I could see the structure. But I know that in real life, this dog is like a dark gray. And so if this dog is like a light tan color, um, like that, and this dog is a dark gray, then that means that this area needs to be significantly lighter looking than like this whole face as a whole. So I realized that I need to kind of go back and darken this whole thing as a whole, if that makes sense. So this would be just the result of me going over and darkening the dark parts uh, like one or two times and I'm probably going to do it a few more times after that. I don't know. But yeah, I think it's looking decent. I think for me drawing dogs is hard and I'm having a bit of trouble with this open mouth here and a bit of trouble in general because like, yeah, I don't, I'm, I haven't drawn too many dogs in my life and I I tend more toward like human faces but yeah it's really good to challenge myself even if I don't necessarily think all the proportions are right um like you know the sides of the head like I think they're more narrow in the photo but I can't really pinpoint like what I need to do to fix it and then I'm like paranoid about like did I make this mouth too large um, but, you know, ultimately when you're doing a drawing for a person, they don't look at all the little places where you messed up. They just, like, appreciate that you drew their loved one. So, yeah. <laughs> morning. It's the day after spring equinox because yesterday was no home day so I forgot. So this morning I wrote down my three seeds, like intention seeds that I'm planting for the spring equinox and I buried them in the dirt on our property. And yeah, and today we have a grocery disruption. Um, <laughs> So, funny story, I'm obviously not on the uh, transport of the ducks trip like I said I was. Um, Keegan and I had a pretty um, unenjoyable fight that led me to decide it would be best if I stayed home. So he's, you know, props to him for showing up for the animals. He's doing that himself and... And I'm feeling better for the first time today, and we're going to do a grocery disruption, and uh, Joey Vegetables is on Instagram, that's his name, he's going to speak. I'm, I'm happy that I'm not doing it, because I just don't really feel like I am in the right wanting to do it. <laughs> um, and yeah. Everybody will jump out of the car and move as swiftly as possible towards the door. Oh, let me not forget my mask like I did last time. Did you, have it or did you forget Do you remember? Were you guys at? Oh, I don't think you guys were at the no, one. No, because we 
I forgot my mask. Halfway through the fucking thing, I turn around and I'm like, oh fuck, I don't have a mask on. Shit, nobody nobody said shit. Anyone, no. Anyone said no. Anyway? No. Oh, I forgot about the signs. Attention Whole Foods customers and employees. We're here to speak on behalf of the innocent animals who are tortured and brutally murdered under the guise of humane means. The definition of humane is having or showing compassion or benevolence. There is no compassionate way to murder somebody who does not want to die. There are standard practices in every animal agriculture industry that include abuse, torture, and sexual assault that we would never want to partake in, yet we pay for it to happen because we've been removed from the process. Why do we love some animals while we pay for others to be stabbed in the throat, shot in the head, electrocuted, and forced into gas chambers? In their ability to feel pain and suffer and their preference to live, they're the same as us and the companion animals we bring into our homes and call family. When companies use marketing ploys like humane animal products, they're profiting from playing with the emotions of the consumer by them feeling as if they're making a more ethical purchase. Unfortunately for the animals, this means nothing. Imagine if the day you were born, your death date was determined. That's the reality for animals in the animal agriculture industry. And for what? A sandwich or a 10 minute ballot pleasure? Cows only produce milk when they're pregnant or recently gave birth. So year after year, they're forcibly impregnated. So I was researching fishing near me because I want to do like a fishing disruption. Because earlier, when we all went to eat and we, we sat down by the water, there were people fishing and I really wanted to like get on the megaphone and just say some things. And it gave me the idea to like plan. I think this used to be somebody's house. Yeah, I think this did okay, used to be a house. It gave me the idea to plan just a fishing disruption. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like they literally put trout in here so that people can abuse them. <laughs> he just runs past it. going to see what Shitin thinks of the rain for the first time. As my exposure goes absolutely wild. What the hell? <laughs> you really don't care? I thought you'd come running right back in. Can I just share something? A barrier I have to like drawing once I've sat down is over anxious thoughts about whether or not the table is clean enough, whether or not my hands are clean enough, etc. And just worries about getting oils or dirt on the drawing and it drives me really fucking crazy. I have to spray down my laptop, I have to spray down my phone, I have to like get a clean glass 
and spray down this table. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so as of now, this is like sort of the finished drawing, but I might go in one more session to add details. I'm not really sure, but I did go ahead and sign it because I just am impulsive like that. So a couple of things, um, I'm, I'm really thinking that, you know, this dog ended up, it, she should have been like a little more that way. I feel like she's a little squished that way. And it's, I don't know, whatever though, it's fucking too late now, right? <laughs> and then, I don't like love this area, you know? So for, I don't know, I could go back in, or this might be the finished product, I'm not really sure. But yeah, there we go. Here's like the reference photos again. You can kind of maybe see what I mean, how maybe it should have been more like that. That's why proportions are forever like the hardest part of any drawing. Oh, I can't use switch. Yeah, my laptop is like not fucking responding, but yeah. You know, I always like drawings from this kind of angle. Does anyone else like how drawings look from like this kind of angle? I don't know. I think they even look better from like this kind of angle than front on. It's rainy. Um, I'm babysitting, so I'm gonna go get the kid to go do something besides watch videos. Woohoo! I think, to be general, the, the face is a little too round when it should have been more, like, oval. Like, there's something off with the nose, whether it's too big or not far down enough or both. And then, this was obvious for a long time to me, but, like, this area has, like, way too big of a surface area. And I don't, like, know how or why that happened, but... I'm not sure, like, if it's too late to try and do anything. Maybe I could erase some of these edges and bring them in a bit. Maybe that will help. I might try that. Okay, I think that might have helped just a little bit. So yeah, that's where we are at for right now. Unless I go in again on another session. without food, water, or even being let out for 36 hours. Have a pretty young looking little nose here. A lot, a lot of times they're too afraid of the sprayer. They might think it's an electric prod or something and they're afraid of humans in general because of how abused they are. But we do get several that do figure out that it's water.
sanctuary and see how an eye on a cow should look. They all have mucus pouring out of their nose. They're all full of pus and tumors. I wish I was lying. I wish I was making that up. I wish I was exaggerating.
of all of those products that taste the same, if not better. We don't need animal products to survive. Nutritionfacts.org, look at the American Dietetic Association's statement on vegan diets. Peer-reviewed science proves we don't need animal products and we're so much better off without them. There's no reason for this. How can you justify this? get everywhere. Get They're across the street. We've found whole legs. This appears to be a tail. Fucking disgusting. And people think like, oh, but we're gonna, we're gonna wear a mask for COVID. Are you fucking kidding me? If you're not already vegan, listen to the TEDx talk every argument against veganism. I always have it in the description. Watch Dominion Movement documentary. I always have that in the description as well. Check out my podcast, the Stop the Violence podcast, by subscribing to this YouTube channel, or you can find it on Apple, Anchor, and Spotify. I've also got loads more road trip vlogs to catch up on from our cross-country road trip living in the car. Stay tuned.